Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about sudden blot. Sudden blot is a molecular biology technique used for the detection of specific DNA sequence in the genomic DNA. This technique was introduced by Sir Edwin Sudden in the year 1975. Let's understand this technique in detail. The genomic DNA is first isolated and treated with restriction enzyme. The fragments generated by restriction digestion are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis. As there are many fragments produced due to restriction digestion, a smear is observed on the agarose gel. The agarose gel is then treated with an alkali to separate the double-stranded DNA in single-stranded DNA. The single-stranded DNA is then transferred on the membrane by placing the membrane on the top of the gel. The transfer usually occurs by capillary action. Once the transfer is complete, the membrane is heated in hot air oven or exposed to UV light for a few seconds. This ensures that the DNA is permanently attached with the membrane. Now, there will be many fragments attached on the membrane. The next step involves detection of specific desired fragment by using a probe. The probe has a nucleotide sequence complementary to the desired DNA fragment which is to be detected. The probe is usually labeled with P32 or a fluorescence dye. After hybridization, excess of probe is washed and an X-ray film is placed on the membrane to perform autoradiography. The autoradiography will show the presence or absence of the desired DNA fragment. Applications The sudden blot technique is widely used to detect presence and absence of gene in the given sample. Let's suppose the genomic DNA has a gene that we want to detect. For the restriction digestion, the restriction enzyme is selected such that it cleaves upstream and downstream of the gene. As described earlier, the fragments are transferred on the membrane and hybridized with a probe, followed by autoradiography. The presence of band in the autoradiogram indicates that the gene is present, whereas the absence of band indicates that the gene is absent. Besides presence and absence of gene, we can also detect copy number of genes. In this example, let's say sample 3 has two bands. This indicates that there are two copies of gene in this genome. Here's how it works. If the gene is present at second location, then the DNA sequence upstream and the downstream of the gene will be different. Because of this difference, the presence of restriction site upstream and downstream to the gene will be different. Hence, when the upstream and the downstream region of the gene is digested, the overall length of the fragment containing our gene will be different and this difference can be easily spotted in the autoradiogram. Hence, the sample number 3 shows two bands. Besides these, southern blot is widely used in the techniques such as RFLP and AFLP.